Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the, the last video we talked about unit testing, integration testing, testing of services, testing of the APIs and we now are able to get the coverage, we are able to run individual test cases and we know how to do the API testing. So that covers my testing part and I will post this particular repository so you can also take a look. Okay now next thing we are going to talk about is the, the, the NestJS APIs and its integration to a different microservices. And microservices can be uh, uh, REST APIs, can be GraphQL APIs, or can be another external service like Postgres, MySQL. These are external services. So let's say you are actually trying to connect to RabbitMQ, which is using AMQP protocol, right? So this is your NestJS, you are trying to talk to this. You are trying to talk to, uh, let's say we have another service, ELK service, okay, Elasticsearch, you are trying to talk to that, right? So there should be some predefined modules available or you might be writing your own custom logic. Here you are trying to talk to a Redis, right? So there should be some integration we have to do to connect to these set of services. Okay, this can be RabbitMQ, this can be ELK, this can be Redis or this can be anything any external service like uh, there is another third party microservice you are running that is doing the logging of your all services. So sometimes people don't use ELK stack for the logging, they can use this roll bar and all these things. So you can actually write it to an external service also. Okay, so these are important things like how you can do the integration of uh, NestJS with all these different type of services. These are actually external services and these can be anything. Here I will say, okay, uh, how you do the read write to the S3 through NestJS, right? A simple example, I mean, it's nothing but a simple Node.js code, how you integrate with the Azure services. Means every, these kind of cloud services actually expose the access key or secret key or something and through which we use their SDKs like Azure SDK or AWS SDK. With the help of that, we should be able to talk to them. Right, so consider that there is a use case of file upload to S3. First of all, you need to do the file upload using NestJS APIs and then you will be doing uploading to the S3 or Azure, right? So there are many such use case. When we write code, we struggle with the logic. Okay, how do we do, do this? How we can get, uh, how we can write to SQS, EMQP, how we can do the integration with Elasticsearch, with the NestJS, how we can integrate with the Redis because Sometimes it's a trouble of finding out the proper module which we can use NestJS Redis, right? Uh, NestJS AMQP and some are the modules which are which are provided by NestJS only to talk to the different microservices. So NestJS has its own microservice module which we can also use to create a microservices which are like using gRPC protocol AMQP or something else. Similarly, we can also write another uh, video where we are going to talk to gRPC okay so currently like these are the set of protocols some are HTTP some are uh, gRPC AMQP this is how we are communicating and uh, let me just recall like how you can do the in-memory caching of the data that can be another topic like uh, I don't wanted to use Redis I just wanted to use some in-house or in-memory caching so Nest just provides it and we can also talk about NestJS scheduler. NestJS scheduler, like you have a need of kind of a cron job, so you can use a NestJS scheduler. These are like a miscellaneous topics which I'm covering with the help of uh, NestJS. We can also talk about later, like how we can do the integration uh, I mean, how you can expose the GraphQL interface through NestJS, okay? Because NestJS is capable of doing many things. You can also use some of the pre-built modules of NestJS CRUD, NestJS microservices, NestJS CQRS, which is another important which we are going to talk about. Okay, this is also exposed through NestJS. But CQRS is a common uh, fundamental concept and NestJS is exposing it by providing a unified interface through some library. Okay, so these are kind of a miscellaneous uh, 
videos I will be creating with the Nest.js and another thing is optimization on the database side with the help of Nest.js all these things we are going to cover okay so stay tuned guys uh, thanks everyone